Hi, I Believe community. My name is Jolene Underwood. I am an emotional and mental health coach. And today I wanted to provide three tips to help when anxiety hits. A lot of us are experiencing anxiety or heightened anxiety, even if we had low levels of it before or high levels of it, it's heightening from that level that, we used, that we're used to because of the pandemic, because of the divisiveness in our, our um, nation, um, in, in America, and just even across the world. And so I wanted to provide a few tips that can help us when that anxiety is causing us to not function well. So maybe it's keeping us from taking the next step or going somewhere or um, focusing. I have to do these things because my brain has a hard time focusing. When I start feeling anxious, I'm feeling worked up and my brain just kind of goes blah, 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 all over the place. And so I need to do some things to help my body calm down. Or there may be a circumstance that happens too, even like reading the news or you listen to someone's conversation and all of a sudden your body is just going... <gasps> You know, your breathing gets a little bit heavier maybe and you're tight, getting tightened inside of you and um, it can feel paralyzing. Or maybe you're experiencing kind of a collective uh, fear overall of uh, a different events and that can impact people in different ways based on their experiences, based on their cultural background, um, all kinds of different reasons to have heightened anxiety. And anxiety is a, not a sin. It is a state in the body, and there's a lot of things that can contribute to it. But today's three tips will hopefully help you when anxiety hits and it's hard to face. Okay, so one of them is a breathing technique. I like to do the counts of six, six, and eight. Some people do four, four, and eight, or four, six, and eight. You can kind of vary the count. The goal is that the last um, component of this breathing technique is longer than the rest. So what we're going to do, and we're going to do this together, is start with breathing in through the nose, holding the breath, and releasing the breath through our mouth. And that can come through the lower part. Um, uh, if you go down further, your diaphragm is underneath your lungs and pushing it out and letting more of the air, air escape. So let's start with a six, six count. And you can close your eyes or you could just watch a video, whatever works best for you. But we're going to take a deep breath, uh, breathing exercise. Ready? Okay, deep breath in. Hold. Out. Now, it's probably going to work better if I don't do it along with you. Um, so, like I said, you could modify the count. When I just did the 668 this time, because I was doing it out loud with you guys, it wasn't as easy to do. So, if you notice that, if you're doing a specific count, do what works for you so that it's actually helping your body calm down. And that's really important. When you read some of these techniques, um, sometimes it's more the principle of it than it is the very specifics um, in some cases. And this is one of those. So um, again, you could do four, four, and eight, or four, six, and eight in your counts. Deep breath in through the nose, hold the breath, and then release it. And just notice the change in your body. Does it Has the level come down some? This is not about fixing anxiety. This is about dealing with it when it gets heightened and it hits us. Okay, another technique that I use sometimes is uh, called a butterfly hug, or that's what my therapist had called it. And it's actually giving yourself, crossing your arms uh, um, like this and tapping alternatively on your shoulder. Now, this may not be something that you can do in front of people. It might look kind of weird, but for yourself and maybe put on some worship music or put on um, some calming piano music, whatever it is that helps you just kind of helps your brain calm down, your body settle down, and then just tap. You could say a prayer. Lord, thank you. Lord, you are here. Father, I love you. Simple breath prayers while you're tapping. Okay, third technique. This is using your senses. Um, I like to keep it simple with just noticing what you see. There are some people that will use a progressive level that uses all of your senses. So um, I can't remember the exact progression, but it can go from seeing to hearing to smelling to tasting and feeling all around your environment. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to put our feet on the floor and we're just going to stop everything that we're doing and we're going to look, pick any color. I'm going to pick the color blue and I'm going to look around my room and find five things that are the color blue and just name it out loud. 
Okay, I see the frame of my inbox. I see my blue notebook over here. I see a blue pen, a blue dot, and a blue picture. Five things. And if you want to take it further, like I said, you could go to the next level, go count down four, three, two, one. So four things that you hear. I hear the buzzing of my fan. I don't hear a lot more because I'm in my office. <laughs> so um, this is just a tip to help bring the body's senses down so that the state, the overall state of your anxiety um, is calmed down so that you're able to handle whatever else you need to handle next. Uh, so that is the three things, the breathing technique, the butterfly hug, and engaging your senses in the present. I hope those tips are helpful for you and um, let me know which ones you tried and how it goes for you in the comments below. Take care.